Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Daily Language Review Video Corrections. S corrections video. <laughs> okay, today we will be correcting week six, day two. So the first two sentences, we need to find as many corrections as we can. I'm feeling dark green today. Okay, number one, yesterday, Lynn braked her arm where she falled down the stairs. Lots to correct here. So the first error I see is braked. The past tense of break is broke. So yesterday, Lynn broke her arm where she, where does it make sense? When she, when she falled down the stairs, the past tense of fall is fell. Now, let me read it to make sure it makes sense. Yesterday, Lynn broke her arm when she fell down the stairs. Now, stairs is misspelled and should be spelled S-T-A-I-R-S. And then the only thing I want to check with my answer key is, do they consider yesterday an introductory word or not? And the answer is not. Okay, so we don't need a comma there. So the sentence should read this way. Now, you do need the capital to capitalize yesterday because it is the beginning of a sentence. So yesterday, Lynn, capital L because of the proper name, broke her arm when she fell down the stairs. Do not forget the period at the end then. So this is the correct answer for number one. Number two, now dad wanted Jerry and I to help do Lynn's chores. So the first error that I see here is to capitalize the D in dad. It is your official name and what you call your father. So it will be capital D-A-D. -D. So now dad wanted Jerry and I to help with do Lynn's chores. Now, I'm going to teach you a neat trick. How do you know if it should be I or me? You take out the other person's name and the aunt and see if the sentence makes sense. Now dad wanted I to help do Lynn's chores. That does not make sense. So this should not be I. This should actually be me. So sometimes it is I, sometimes it is me. And the best way to figure that out is to take out the other person and the word and, and then say the sentence and you're able to tell what, if it's me or I. So now dad wanted Jerry and me to help do Lynn's chores. Apostrophe S is correct. Capital L is correct. So now we have the sentence ready to type. Uh, I'm feeling purple for this one. Okay, so stretch that out. Now, capital N and now because it's the beginning of the sentence, capital D and dad, because that's the proper noun for what we call our fathers, wanted capital J and Jerry, because it's someone's name, and me to help do Lynn's. Capital L is correct. The apostrophe S is correct because the chores belong to Lynn chores and don't forget a period at the end. Okay. And I still have could here from my last video. I'll erase that. So then number three, we're supposed to combine the sentences to make one sentence. There are many chores for us. We need to wash the dishes. We must sweep the floors. So the suggest the suggested way to do this, to combine it, is by adding a word like such as. So there are many chores for us, comma, such as washing the dishes and sweeping the floor. And don't forget your period at the end. So there are many chores for us, comma, such as washing the dishes and sweeping the floors or floor, I guess is what um, they have. Okay, excellent. I just wanted to double check. 
Okay, on to the last one. Ooh, we get to do the same thing where we get to pick which of these words go in the blank. So choose the word that best completes the sentence. So number four, remember that little trick where you use, you read one word in the sentence to see which one would make sense. Injuries like a broken arm don't heal quickly. Illnesses like a broken arm don't heal quickly. Diseases like a broken arm don't heal quickly. Well, a broken arm is neither an illness nor a disease. It is an injury. So if you selected injuries for this one, that is correct. Injuries like a broken arm don't heal quickly. Okay, this ends our correction video for week six, day two. I'll see you next time for our next corrections video. Bye for now.